Hey, don't look at your phone during dinner. You always do. Mind your attitude. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Oh, hey, speaking of how it is, how's your call chat going on? Still at a dreaming stage? You guys need to stop pushing me. I'm working on it, okay? Okay, just asking. Hey, I thought we can't look at our phones during dinner. This one's from work, though. I'll take it. Oh? Yeah. I'm done. Well, that's very nice of you. You don't do this often. Well, okay. I'm doing it now. What else do you want from me? Well, how about you stay and wash some dishes? Look, it's been a really stressful day for me. Can I just go and finish my things and go to bed as early as possible? Please? Well, it's been a really bad day for me too. I don't know why you're doing this. Fine, I'll do the dishes and go to bed at like 3 a.m. if that's what you want. You only go to bed at 3 if that's what you want. That's not true. Well, I think it is. Can I help me make some tea? I'm already washing the dishes. I can't do two things at once, okay? Be careful! You don't want to break that one. I'm doing my best. This dish is an antique, you know? It used to be in my father's collection. Well, it's not very pretty. I mean, it's not like those fancy china dishes that we saw in the store. No, but somehow it's my father's favorite. And this is the first time I brought it out from the shelf. Just to see if it has other functions besides being over on a shelf. And it does. It's heat resistant, lightweight, pretty good. Well, I thought you wanted to put it back on the shelf, you know? Because you only like pretty things. Not now. I like it too much to put it away on some cold remote shelf. And yet you want that from me. I'm sorry? You'd rather put me on some cold remote shelf. I've, I've never... What made you think of that? Because my grades are the only thing that matter to you and Dad. You only took me at my face while you my GPA. And, and that way, I'm not good enough. Excuse me? But I don't see what's wrong with us asking about your grade. You know, I, I should probably just talk to a home teacher about that. A home run teacher? Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean for it to come out like this. There's nothing wrong with you asking about my grade, except that's what you ask about every day. So now you're exaggerating. You know, your grades probably won't affect your life in the long run, but your attitudes will. And it's not just your attitude for studying but how you talk to your parents and, and how you never consider helping with housework and how you grab people with things without asking. Can't you see that this is what we care about? Why are you picking on my attitude? What about your attitude? All you say to me was, Sherry, do this, Sherry, do that, and Sherry, that's not good enough. Sometimes all you see in me are my flaws. Don't you think you're asking too much from me? Why can't you compliment me on, say, my extracurricular activities? They mean so much more to me than my but grades. But you're always so busy. We don't get to start a normal conversation with you often, do we? I only avoid the conversations because I know you guys are going to talk about my grades and my stupid attitude again. Be careful, it's hot. I'm sorry if there's any misunderstanding here. Look, asking about your grade is our way of asking how you're doing in school. But of course, we do care about other things as well. Do you? Okay. How was your day? Well, I'm glad you asked. I lost my debate, my essay was rejected, and also, my physics teacher considered me a lost cause. Oh, and I also received my accumulative, forget that. I had an awful day, that's all you need to know. But? What but? Will anything good happen today as well? No, 
I uh, went to teach the primary kids beside our school today. It was really fun, and that's like the highlight of the day, if that's what you want to call it. Well, it's nice to hear that. So, um, how's your day, Mom? Oh, my day? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Well, same old people, same old troubles. But we just need to find a new accountant. And everything will be solved? Well, I doubt that. But that's what I need to believe in order to stay calm and not quit my job immediately. Tomorrow will take care of itself. We have enough to worry about today. Mom, can you not look at your phone just right now? I don't want to ruin this moment. Oh, it's probably just a message from a client. No, it's not that. <sighs> Never mind, you're gonna know it sooner or later anyways. Sherry, are you talking about your cumulative GPA? Look, I'm sorry that I kept it from you. I just know it today, and I know you and Dad are going to be upset about it. But I knew it already. You... what? Your homeroom teacher said it to me last night. But why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you, well, scream at me for it? Is that what you think we're gonna do? Well, I suppose you realize it's not a very good score. Yes, and we also knew that you must have realized that this is not a really good score. And we knew that you must be upset already. Well, I'm trying not to be too upset. But the point is, we just want to know that you're trying and that you're alright. Well, I'm not alright. I don't know how to be alright. I'm stressed, irritated, anything but alright. But you guys just have to keep pushing me, keep asking me, keep questioning me. Okay, Sherry, let's take a deep breath. No, I'm just trying to say just that... Just breathe, okay? Just breathe. Look, I'm sorry. It was very selfish of me. I shouldn't scream at you just because I'm stressed. It's my fault too. Well, I guess I wasn't helping much. And I guess the problem is you have too many things to do at once, right? Yeah. I already realized that at the beginning of the semester. That's why I quit two cups already, so I can focus on the important things. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. There's a lot you don't know. The problem is, this is my life. And I want to amend it before it's too late. Hey, one final year, I believe you can do it. And use your time wisely, alright? Now, care to join me for some tea? I'd love to, but I don't want to sleep at 3 a.m. Fair enough.